guys, so first things first, I want to apologize for the lighting, the location, and just everything about what is happening around me. I'm literally in the corner of like a room because I'm on vacation right now and the lighting's really bad in here because it's cloudy outside. So I'm just making do with what I have here. But I wanted to film my favorites video because I didn't have to film, I didn't have time to film it before I left. So yeah. Also be sure that you stay till the end because I have a surprise for you. So the first product that I have is this BB cream and this is by Maybelline. It's their Dream Fresh BB cream and I am in the color medium deep sheer tint so if you have my skin tone I'd go for this one but I really like this because it gives you a lot of coverage for a BB cream this is probably my favorite BB cream that I've ever tried if I want to have like if I still want to have coverage but I don't want it to look like I have tons of makeup on I always go for it this and I've been wearing this a lot since it's been hot outside the next product that I have is by covergirl and it is a concealer it is the ready set gorgeous concealer this is like the Katy Perry line I think she created the ready set gorgeous it's like brand new so if it's not in your store yet that would be why but yeah I saw somebody using this concealer I don't remember I think it was Megan Rosette and it gives you a lot of coverage like a lot more than you would think so if you really want a concealer that is good for coverage I'd get it in your skin tone and if you want a concealer to cover like dark circles and stuff like that I'd get a lighter one next I have a bronzer and you already know that this is one of my favorites if you've been watching some of my tutorials and stuff like that lately because I use it every single one and that is the Rimmel natural bronzer I have the Sun Bronze one, which is the, I feel like it's the darkest one, may not be, but yeah, it's completely matte, it's so nice, and I just love the color because it's like the perfect contrast between orange and brown, like some bronzers are way too orange, but this is like the perfect combination of both colors. So if you haven't been able to find a bronzer that you like at the drugstore, I would definitely check this one out. The next thing that I have is an eyeliner, and I have been using this just way too much. I had one before but it completely dried out so I had to buy another one and that is the elf cream eyeliner. I have the black one and this is perfect for if you are really bad at liner. Like I cannot do liquid liner for the life of me so I always like cream eyeliners. Um, it's like it's a lot creamier than a gel so if you have problems applying gel I would definitely try this one out because it's a lot easier to handle. Next I have my Coastal Scents palette and I did not do a haul for Coastal Scents because I just bought all of these shadows, I bought the palette and then I bought uh, four concealers and like a concealer palette but um, I have 28 shades in here. I can do an entire video if you guys want to see something like that but um yeah, I can go over all the colors I have. I have a bunch of mattes and shimmery colors, and they're also pigmented, and they're really pretty. And yeah, if you check out my last two makeup tutorials, I did use some shadows from this palette. I'll leave them linked down below. Self-promotion. And also, if you watch um, one of, I feel like it was my second vlog that I have on my vlog channel I show you a little bit of the shadows if you want to see like the colors and everything then I totally go check that out I will leave my vlog channel link down below another self-promotion I have three more eye products and they are mascaras the first one is the covergirl lash blast volume mascara um it's the orange one and this is not the waterproof one I hate waterproof mascaras because if I'm going in the water, I'm usually not wearing mascara, so it's just completely unnecessary and I can never get them off. So I just got the regular one. And this is in like black or blackest black. I always get the darkest black that they have. This mascara is so good. I've always heard people talk about it, but I was like, eh, it can't be that good. And I just dropped it. But then I had a coupon for $3 off and this mascara is like $6. So I paid like literally like $2 for this because I had another coupon. It was just amazing. So I definitely recommend this mascara. Next one I have is the Maybelline Pumped Up. I get hair everywhere. Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express. This is really good. Pretty sure this was in my last favorites video as well. And it really just makes your lashes so much longer. And the last one I have is my favorite mascara of like all time. And it is the Voluminous Miss Manga by L'Oreal. I'm sure you've seen the commercials and you're like... I doubt that actually works because all the models in the commercials who are like showing you the mascara have naturally long lashes so it's like 
Obviously your lashes are going to look long. No. This, this is a work of art. Like, they actually make them so much longer. Like, I have, like, normal, like, lash length, but this makes them look so long. Like, mmm. And if you combine all these together... So I have two more makeup products, and they are, um, lip glosses. I always do this combination. Like, I'll wear them alone sometimes, but when I combine these, it just looks so good. Um, it's the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline, and then the All Made Gloss in Rosy Lips. You've probably heard me talk about these in a few of my videos if I was wearing them. They are not sticky at all. They don't have any weird smells, and... They're just really, really good. So next I have movies. I just love talking about movies and TV shows. Like, it's actually a problem, but you know what? Bitch, I don't care. Um, the first movie is The Fall in Our Stars. My heart. I have seen that movie literally 500 times. I never saw it in theaters. I wanted to because I want to support my man, John Green. But um, I just don't have 1050 to just throw out the window so I just watched it on the computer illegally if you want to know the site tweet me but anyways the movie was really good just as good as the book if you've read the book and you're scared to see the movie because you're like oh no I don't want them to ruin it they didn't ruin it at all they made it like 10 times better they left out like a few things like they left out um Augustus talking to his parents before he left to go off with Hazel on their trip to Amsterdam but it's like in the book, I was like confused anyways because I didn't know how that was relevant until later. So if they put that in the movie, it kind of just would have been like a waste of two minutes. So I'm glad they didn't do that. Um, and then they also left out like one other thing. It was like really tiny, small things. They left out like three tiny things that like didn't make a difference. Like the swing set scene, like they didn't talk about, oh, like I want to swell, swell. I want to sell the swing set and then like have the person come and take it. Like nobody needs to know all of that. In the book, it was fantastic. But in the movie, it just would have been like, just like filler. So if you have not seen it, you need to read the book, read the book first and then go and see the movie. Okay, the other two movies are the Star Trek movies, the first one and the second one. I watched them, I want to say two weeks ago, I think. Um, cause I have Amazon Prime, which is basically like Netflix, but better because they have tons of movies. Netflix doesn't ha really have that many movies. They have more TV shows, but Amazon Prime honestly has, it's just get Amazon Prime. So, um, I watched the second Star Trek on there and I started watching it and I got like two minutes into the movie and I was like, wow, I'm super confused. So I was like, I should probably watch the first one. So I like found the first one online somewhere. I watched it. It's so good. I've never seen the original Star Trek movies, so I don't know if they're like good Star Trek movies, but I just think they're good movies in general. So whether or not they are like a good representation of the older ones, I have no idea, but both of them are amazing. And Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch? Is that how you say his name? I don't know. He's in the second one and he is a villain and he... Oh my god, he's so bad. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about the movies now. Uh, then shows, we have Grimm. If you watch my vlogs, you know I'm obsessed with Grimm. Grimm is honestly the best show ever. That is another show that I found on Amazon Prime. That's how I started True Blood, Amazon Prime, and now Grimm. Like, that's where all my obsessions come from. If you haven't seen it before and you like shows like Once Upon a Time, The Vampire Diaries, all that stuff, you should definitely check it out. Uh, Pretty Little Liars, it is getting to the point where it's like, okay, you guys need to calm down. It's so extreme, and Hannah with her drinking problem, and Caleb is like, oh my god, it's just, it's just getting so messy. I can't wait till this week's episode, though. And then the last show ties in with an app that I'm obsessed with, and that is Keeping Up With The Kardashians my guilty pleasure. They're so good. I love all of them in the family. If you talk trash about them, you best believe you will be hearing something from me. And then of course, the app that ties into that subject would be the Kim Kardashian game. I, okay, I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with this game. I love the game. It's so fun, but this girl's energy lasts me like 
not even one job. I'll have to come back in like three hours until I have 20 again so I can finish something. So I'm not even, I'm not, e I'm pretty sure I'm still like an E-list celebrity. Like I have not even made the D-list yet. Yeah, like no, on the fringe, become a D-list celebrity. And I'm walking around in this ball gown because apparently it's my birthday soon. Like, it's not my birthday. Like, three days ago in the game, they were like, Happy birthday, Lauren, and I still have not had my party yet. Okay, this next favorite is kind of weird, and it is water. But it's not just any water. It is Voss. This is the best water I've ever tasted in my whole entire life. It is Norwegian. Norwegian. Oh my god, Lauren. It's from Norway. <laughs> really good water. I have this one. And I was talking about it so much, my mom bought me this one. Then I have these phone cases that I got from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. It's also linked in my What's on my iPhone uh, video. I'll, link, I'll, he I'll, he I'll have that link down below also if you have not seen that. Um, and yeah, I just have these cases. I have a pink one and a clear one. They're both clear on the back, but then this bumper is pink and this bumper is clear and this one gets dirty really easily but if you have a gold one it doesn't even matter because the side of your phone is gold anyways so it just looks like it's gold so um yeah same with the silver like you can't even tell that it's dirty so that is it for my favorites video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did stay to the end then you are a lucky winner i don't know what i'm talking about but um i'm doing a giveaway of some of my favorites from this month so Apparently you're not allowed to do giveaways on YouTube, so we are going to do this through Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, just create an account. Um, I'm going to post a picture on Instagram saying like, Law and Wasp giveaway and make a hashtag and everything. The first thing that you're going to get is this phone case. It's just like mine, except it's neon yellow. It's so pretty, but it just clashes with my gold so much. And this fits the 5S and the five. The second product that I'm getting giving away is the Ready Set Gorgeous and this is the one in medium. So that is the same one that I had uh, shown you guys earlier but I couldn't remember the color. Um, it is in medium so you'll be getting this and I got this one because I thought it'd be perfect if you had lighter skin you could use it as a concealer or it's still light enough to use underneath your eyes and if you have darker skin then it's perfect for underneath your eyes. Or, if you have really, really light skin, then you can just use it as a concealer. <laughs> um, the next thing that I got are two mascaras, and I have the L'Oreal Miss Manga for you guys, along with the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. So these are both um, favorites of mine this month, so I thought I would give you guys these, and these are both in black. This one is black is black, and this one is classic black. Then, of course, I had to get the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, and this one is in Sun Bronze, same one that I have, and it is completely matte, so you'll be getting that as well. And then the Alme Lip Gloss in um, Rosy Lit. I went out and I tried to find the NYX Butter Gloss, but I could not find it. I'm still going to look for it for you guys, so um, you may just get some random stuff thrown in there as well. But... Uh, this one is rosy lipped and if I do add the next one that'll be in Madeline and then the last thing that you're gonna get is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I have not picked it up yet because I don't know what the skin tone of my winner is gonna be so I don't want to pick one up and then be like I got deep and you are like a ghost. <laughs> so I just thought I would wait so basically the rules for this giveaway are going to be to obviously be subscribed to my channel because this is for my subscribers. Um, follow me on Instagram so that you can be part of the giveaway because it's going to be happening over there. And then leave a comment down below saying that you have, um, basically on my Instagram I'm going to post a picture um, of the giveaway and have some hashtags. And all you have to do is repost that picture on your Instagram. So in the YouTube comments just tell me that you reposted the picture and then tell me um, like what shade you are in like whatever foundation that you use and then I'll look it up and figure out which BB cream that you would be if you win. So yeah, it's pretty simple. So good luck to you all.